Come with us as we use the motorhome as a moving van and take a detailed drive of I-15 to Las Vegas. Well, good morning. We're here in Los Angeles, heart of the pandemic, and we're moving our son Steven to Las Vegas. We are at Steven's apartment here in Garden Grove, California, which is about 10 minutes from Disneyland. We are going to be using the motorhome to help Steve move all of his stuff from his apartment here in Garden Grove, California to a home that he'll be renting in Las Vegas, Nevada. All right, little by little progress is being made. The dinette now is uh, holding boxes and tables. We actually have an office table that's in there as well. And then coming back here, I uh, didn't realize that my son also had a giant screen TV set. So now we've got the base of his bed there, the actual headboard for the bed there. His TV, I don't even know what, what inch this thing is. It's pretty big. And then we have the mattress. Uh, maybe you might be concerned about the weight. This actually has one of the largest chassis for the size of motorhome. So the total uh, weight that I can put in this carrying capacity is 3214, which is wonderful. So no problem as far as carrying all the things uh, to Las Vegas. So I just wanted to show you that as well, and that's called the carrying capacity. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've tied up the uh, mattress just a little bit. Um, is it going to be the best thing for it? Probably not. Again, this is one of those mattresses that they get in a box that is shipped, and so it seems to be pretty pliable. Unfortunately, I don't have a rope or anything like that to tie the mattress in place. What I ended up using was a couple of extension cords. I just tied it here in the middle on this side. Uh, then I wrapped it and tied it off here. And then for the other side, I actually used the hinge and all I did was put it right like this. These hinges, by the way, they're crazy good. They are, I know people say, oh, I don't like them, but oh my gosh, they, they've been so good to me. So anyway, you just close that and it just, it's just holding. I just don't want it to, to this piece to move forward. And so that's gonna hold for me. Okay, kids, here's the final tally. Here is the mattress, the ladder we put there, all the gear, and look, we still have a center aisle. So we have desks, computers, computer chairs, all kinds of stuff for the kitchen, TVs and four different monitors, games, basically an apartment's worth except for a couch and a dinette, but the rest of the apartment is all completed in here. Pretty impressive. So now that we're all packed up, we're gonna take a break. Steve is gonna take us to a very special dinner and we're gonna get rested for our early drive tomorrow. So we are at an industrial park here in Orange County. It's called Hangar 24 is the actual pub. It's built into the industrial park. Uh, the table here is like 10 or 11 feet at least. So we're gonna have some uh, food here, social distance and enjoy. So we got tacos, we got shortbread, we got corn dogs. Oh, these are the corn dogs, In interesting. Look at these things. Those are corn dogs, I'll be darn. And you said the other is shortbread. Shortbread here. Yes. And then three different types of tacos. Carne I'll asada, uh, chicken, and uh, shrimp. Very good. The shrimp. There we are. We're on Highway 15 now, which is the main road going to Las Vegas. And you can see the sunrise here. Eventually we'll get away from all the city stuff and uh, get into more desert driving. So I'm really looking forward to that. So just outside of Victorville, you can see how things have started to change here. We're now getting more into a desert situation, but it's amazing how a few more miles and everything starts to change on the east side here of California. Oh, Cindy says good morning, by the way. Good morning. So just outside of Barstow is a little place called Calico. 
Uh, used to be owned by Knott's Berry Farm. It's a, a famous ghost town uh, from the Gold Rush. Way up on the hill there, you can actually go there. Uh, when it's running, uh, they have uh, melodramas and sarsaparilla and gunfights and all the fun things. Uh, anyway, called Calico, really, really kind of fun. And then uh, coming up on our right is a place called Piggy Sue's Diner. It's a 50s place. It's been here for like years and years and years. It's funny, Piggy Sue's Diner used to be here all by itself way back when. And over the years, it hasn't quite built up the way it, it wanted to. It used to be a big thing in this day. It had a little uh, area there with all the dinosaurs and stuff. Really quite something. This hill with the water tank used to be someone's idea of paradise. What they had done was they had built a water park, a full water park on the hill, had everything on there, the uh, showers and changing facilities and snack bars and everything else. Uh, the only problem was is uh, people just didn't come to the water park, which was too bad. It was like a little paradise. They had palm trees and everything else. And over the years, it has just uh, fallen apart because it's been closed for such a long time. You can still see some of the structure where they had the slides actually on. And at the top of the hill to the left, you can actually see where the kids would, you know, climb up before they would come down on the water slides. Anyway, that's what that structure is right there. And it was really too bad. I remember coming by one time when it was actually open. And, you know, they didn't have a lot of people there, but it did look like a lot of fun. But anyway, that's what this structure was, was a water park here in the middle of nowhere. off for the world famous Death Valley. It just uh, cleared a record last year of 130 degrees. This is Baker, California. They tried to bring more people here by having this so-called world's tallest thermometer. And so you can see it right there. Obviously as it's gotten hotter it would go higher up. And it looks like they've improved it over the years. A little bit brighter than I remember it being but it's uh, showing about 54 degrees, so that's cool. And it still works. But there you are, folks. That is Baker, California, with the so-called world's tallest, at the time, thermometer. Starting to see more uh, desert features, including the Joshua trees over here. Every once in a while you'll see an actual true cacti cactus, uh, but right now it's more uh, Joshua trees right through here. Just on that right side, but it's kind of like entering its own little forest. Yeah, Joshua trees. They certainly are beautiful. So we are coming here to State Line, Nevada. Way down there you can see Prim. Off to the left, you can see one of the uh, solar plants here. What they use is reflective light. So the bottom pieces are mirrors and they're computer generated with the sun. They focus all the light on the towers and the towers reflect that light down to boilers and it causes steam and that's how the power is generated. It's amazing the uh, mirrors and how all that works. Super bright, different technology. That's what's being used to power your home. Kind of cool. So welcome to Prim, Nevada. This is state line. So California on this side, Nevada on the other side of the overpass. There are three casinos here. There's Whiskey Pete's on the left. And then on the right, there's one called the Prim Valley Casino and the other one called Buffalo Bills. And they also have a lot of factory outlet shops here. Um, they also have a little theme kind of area that has a roller coaster ride. And I believe at one point there was some sort of record for this particular roller coaster. In fact, there was a, a special where they had Lance Burton 
Uh, he was tied on the rail and he escaped from the, the rails of the roller coaster. Prim, uh, State Line, Nevada. Well, folks, we have made it to the world famous Las Vegas. However, we are actually going to Henderson. That is where Steven is moving to. So we'll actually be turning off before we get to the strip. But at some point it would be fun to actually run the motorhome down the strip just to get a picture and check things out and do it in the motorhome. I think that would be a lot of fun. But we'll see. We'll see how things go and then go from there. All right, so we have arrived at Steve's new home. So Steve lives in Henderson, and this is his house here. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. If you get a chance, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you.